How to make a shamanic rattle. First, what you're going to need are some rawhide offcuts, some cardboard to work out the shape and create a template for the rattle you're going to make, some sinew or some thread for the stitching and the binding, the stick that you're going to use as the handle for your rattle, something to stuff the rattle head with as it dries, something like kapok or teddy bear stuffing, and your rattle filling, whether that's rocks or shell or crystals to help create the sound. And you start by soaking the rawhide off cuts for about 10 hours or overnight and using the cardboard stencil, just marking on the rawhide the shape of your rattle head. And then using scissors, cut both sides out. Now there is a top side and a bottom side to the rawhide, the rough and the smooth, the suede and the leather, as it were. Line the two rattle heads up with the leather side outwards and using a hole puncher, punch holes all around the outside, a couple of millimetres apart and a couple of millimetres from the edge. Being careful not to go too close and if you have any holes that split, just fix those by punching a new hole a bit further in. And continue this all the way round until you get back to the neck of the rattle head. And next, measure out your thread or your sinew. We tend to find three times going round the rattle head is enough, but make sure you have plenty as you can always use it for the binding if there's extra. And then thread your needle and begin stitching your rattle head, which we tend to do with blanket stitch as you can see here, going in through the loops with each stitch that we go round. But you can use any stitch that works for you or that you're comfortable with. We tend to go for blanket stitch because we like the finish that it gives on the ridge of the rattles. We continue all the way round until you get back to the neck of the rattle again. And now it's time to stuff the rattle head with either the kapok or teddy bear filling until all the sides are stretched out like a ball. And then when you can't fit any more in, put the rattle handle into the neck of the rattle and bind the thread around so that it dries into the right shape. and then you leave it overnight so that it can fully dry. And as you see here, when we take the handle out, the neck is in the right shape and we can now start taking all of that stuffing out the inside, which we do simply with an untwisted paper clip. And then when all of the stuffing has been removed, you can start to fill your rattle with the right mix of stones or shells or crystals that fit the intention and purpose of this rattle and that sounds right for you. And then holding the rattle head upright to keep all of the stones and filling out of the way, pop some glue on the end of the handle and pop that just inside the neck of the rattle head and squeeze that tightly so it's secure before binding around the outside with some more of the thread or the sinew. And just as we do with our shamanic drum beaters, we tend to finish this binding using the whipping technique, where we create a loop, placing the loop onto the rattle head, with the looped bit upwards, wrapping over the top of that, and then when we get to right to the top of the neck of the rattle head, we pop the end of the thread through the loop and then pull the other ends out underneath the rest of the binding so that it's tied on and secured tightly. And then finish with any last cutting or sanding or waxing to finish off the handle. And so that's how to make a shamanic rattle.